What's goody? What's up guys? We are back at you with another video. Today we are in New York City, of course, again. We're at the 9th Avenue International Food Festival. It's here, it's beginning on 9th Avenue and 42nd Street, and then it goes to 57th Street. So it like spans, I don't know, what is that, 15 blocks, I 12 think blocks? 15, I think 15 blocks. Yeah, Can't do the like math. counting right now. But anyways, they have a bunch of restaurants here from Hell's Kitchen that are set up, and then they have like a bunch of vendors. And they have a bunch of other like restaurants that are gonna be here too as well. I think I saw on their Instagram. Mm -hmm. But I'm just excited because it's a bunch of different food, a bunch of different restaurants. Spanish food, um, I think, like, Greek food, I think. Greek food, I think Portuguese, French, French, um, Taiwanese, I believe as well. So like this is our type of thing. It's mad food in one spot. Mm -hmm. All we gotta do is walk up and down. We're gonna stuff our faces. We're gonna pick the ones that we like the most and yeah. probably get like one thing from there, like empanada here, a rape of there, etc. etc. So and I'm also feeding for oysters, so hopefully they have some type of like oyster stand or something like that, because I really am craving them. Yeah, I think they had said they had like a raw seafood bar online yeah. on the website. So I hope it's still there. I hope it says it's about to rain, but I hope it doesn't, but I know because it was gonna rain and then it wasn't and now it's gonna rain again, so like mm. but whatever, what can you do? We have an umbrella, so it is what it is. So we'll see you guys when we get the food as usual. Bye! Boba. We got, a, we got classic milk boba tea. Obviously we've had boba many times before, so we'll just see how this one compares to like other ones we've had pretty much. It's actually really, it's good. Yeah. This is the classic milk. Classic milk tea. The classic milk tea. So just with regular boba. Mm. Nine out of ten, solid. Oh yeah, the boba itself, really, really good. And yeah. It's, it's giving, it's... The texture of the boba is good. Yeah, yeah. the texture of the boba is really good. Good, well balanced. 16 for two, so we're about to try these arepas. Arepas are fire, so we got a milk tea, we got our arepas, baby. Mm, everything. These are mad good. If anyone doesn't know, an arepa is like a sweet corn dough with mozzarella cheese in the middle. This shit is actually fire. Like I've had this, we had this once before, but this, this, is, act, this one is good. This shit is nice and hot. This shit came right off the grill out here. Honestly, I'm about to just eat some of yours and put this in the bag like this. Honestly, because <laughs> we can't eat all two. But we want to try more food spots. Yeah, so, yeah. I want to like have more room in our stomachs for more food. So that's what we're gonna eat. Yeah. This is banging though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. It's really good. Oh. That's when you get the street food, it's like fresh off, like they were making it right there. So. They just put that shit off the yeah. grill right into my hand, so. This place doesn't have an actual like restaurant, it's just a straight up um, like arepa stand. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so we were almost done with our arepa. It was a definitely a good little appetizer, but we are on to the next. We still got many spots to hit, so let's go. I got my oysters just like I wanted. Okay guys, we have the oysters. Okay, so we're at this place called Marseille. I hope I'm saying it right. French restaurant. They have like little, they have the restaurant is right behind us. They have a stand outside and they have little tables outside too. So that's why we're setting up the camera and yeah. And they have two sauces. One is like a red wine vinegar, maybe another one's just your normal cocktail, cocktail sauce. It's six oysters for $9. So. Which is a steal, truthfully. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick with the cocktail. Actually, let me do. You gotta get the lemon, squeeze the lemon. Lemon squeeze. I think I'm gonna take it with a little bit of cocktail sauce. The amount of cocktail sauce they accidentally put on this oyster is a crime. I don't know why I did that. Cheers, Cheers. 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 my favorite, literally. Mm. Mm. Got a little hard piece, that's okay. I put way too much cocktail sauce on, so that's all I tasted with that, which is what I didn't want. So the next one, I'm just gonna eat raw, like no sauce, no nothing. Oysters are, these are my top, like, I'm gonna try this red wine as well. I'm going plain this time. Ready? Mmm, yeah, now I can really taste the oyster. Mm. The first time there was way too much sauce, but this time it tastes like super, super, super good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's super vinegary, so like, last ones, y'all. 
Those are good oysters for real. Yeah. They really are. I didn't use any of the red wine vinegar sauce. I just wanted the oyster taste, but she used, what would you say for the red wine sauce? It was good? The red wine sauce is good. It's, I don't know if it's, it's, it's really vinegary, so, but it tasted really good on it. I would only put like a drop on it. It's like, I do six more, but we got more spots to try, more spots to eat at. If it was so. just this place, I would have gotten like two or three more. Oh yeah. Ooh, the wind is picking up, y'all. I'm scared, but. All right, y'all, we gotta go to the next place quick. Yes. See y'all. Demolished. So we got the mix and match of these. We got two chicken, two pork, then one lamb and one veggie. Obviously yeah. this one's a veggie. I don't know what the rest are. So, Oh, well this one's lamb because it's only one. Yeah. And then these other two are the other flavors. Okay, so we got six pieces for $12 here at Mao's Bows. And it's a real place too. It's a stand. It's they have a stand here and then it's a restaurant. And we got two sauces on the side. We got rice vinegar sauce and some ball sauce on the side just to dip them in if we want. So we're about to try them. I don't know which ones these are. Uh, we'll see. These are either chicken or pork. They ran out of beef, so. These look like chicken. I'm gonna dip mine in the rice vinegar. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire. Oh my god. I'm kind of struggling because my the meat fell out of mine, but the dump the actual like dumpling part is like really thick, really flavorful. Like this is fire. Sorry, I'm at a loss for words. I just, wow. <laughs> I was like, why is she talking? Yeah, the meat inside is oh the out the the dumpling thing itself is nice, nice texture, nice. But chew. it's like thick though. It's not like too doughy. It's nice and thick, flavorful. Nice texture, nice chew, nice. Mm, really freaking good. Mm. And we love, well, we have dumplings. We got a Coke on the side. Next one. This is the chicken, I believe. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna put some sambal sauce on this one, which it, it looks spicy, so. Thick. Mm. Oh, the sambal sauce is fire, mm. bro. This one tastes like the pork. I think this is the pork, the other one was chicken. So good. The sambal sauce is hidden. Oh my god. It tastes like a sweet chili. Sweet chili sauce. I thought it was gonna be really spicy, but yeah, it's like a sweet chili, but it definitely has like a little bit of kick. Mm. I love how she's just taking bites. I just straight up shoved the whole thing in my mouth, so. I'm dead. Yeah, I think this is the pork, mm -hmm. and the other one was the chicken. Yeah, you can tell. The flavor, again, this one is really great, so. Oh my god. Mm. So good. Woo. So like, so the lamb and the veggie, we only got one of, so we're just gonna split these, obviously. The purple is so cute. And I'm telling y'all right now, we already had a cheesy arepa, bubble tea, oysters, and dumplings. My stomach is already starting to hurt, and I feel like I usually have kind of like a tougher stomach, but like with the cheese, the milk from the tea, the oysters, like my stomach is waking right now. And we like, still got mad places. Honestly, I'm the opposite. For some reason, I'm still ravenously hungry. Like, I could eat, I could bust down like 10 more plates right now. Honestly. I need like a little break in between because this one has corn in it, which like, I don't really like corn in things. I'd rather just have it straight up, but like, let's see how this tastes. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. <gasps> it tastes like lamb shawarma in a fucking dumpling. That is banging. I never had a dumpling with lamb, I don't think. I've always had chicken or beef, but it literally tastes like lamb shawarma in a dumpling. The corn, for some reason, adds like another... Oh, I don't know. The corn in it is really, really good. That was really... That was not expecting good. that. Yeah, it tastes no. like lamb shawarma in a dumpling. It tastes like Mediterranean food combined with Asian food, basically. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the corn. It's not like... I just said I don't like corn like in stuff. I don't know how to explain it, so... But yeah, other than that, it was good. This is the veggie. They, they call it the impossible. Did they really call yeah. it that? I didn't even see. Okay. Let's see how this is Daniel. It's alright. Yeah. They just gotta do the same thing. It's okay. Not gonna lie, 
good. This one tastes vegetarian. Like, yeah. if you know what I mean, like, you can tell, like, it's a vegetarian bun. Yeah. Vegetarian one, I'm not the biggest fan of. Like you said, you can tell it's vegetarian. It's not bad, but I just, I'm not the biggest fan. Like, I like the first two we ate, the chicken and the, the pork, pork the best. And then I, I would say the lamb one, and then the vegetarian one is like, yeah, it's just my, not for me. That's it's it. my least favorite, but it's, yeah. it was still good. Yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah. Woo! We definitely had to stop there. We love dumplings. Yep. Those really just hit. Like those mm -hmm. hit. Like she said, her stomach's quaking, but I'm ready to chow down on the next. We'll see you guys at the next spot. We're on to the next. We've been to, I don't know, three, four, or five places so far. I lost yeah. track already. But well, oysters, arepas, bubble tea, and dumplings. So that's four. Everything was good so far. So yeah. All right. We'll see you guys at the next spot. Keep eating along with us. It's like a little mini food tour. So bye. See you guys at the next place.